Uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this video that I'm doing uh, today is um, this video about two cell phone carriers, two of some of the more popular cell phone carriers. Uh, we're going to take a look at um, T-Mobile and Verizon. Now, what I want to do is look at it from a comparative standpoint. And what I want to do is kind of create the scenario. You know, let's say that uh, you are someone that is currently on Verizon and you are considering a switch to T-Mobile. I'm going to kind of highlight some things that you would be doing when you switch from Verizon to T-Mobile and then vice versa. We'll kind of look at it from the other side. So let's start first. Switching from Verizon to T-Mobile. If you make that switch, you will probably in all likelihood be saving money. So if you get the unlimited plan with Verizon, whether it's single line or a multi-line, like a family plan, uh, you'll probably be saving anywhere between 15 to 25% on your total bill. You know, that could be something like $50, that could be something like up to $100. I'm not sure, it just depends how many lines you have. Uh, those line access fees add up with Verizon, and uh, their overall pricing for their data plan is more expensive. And they have their surcharges and their taxes, and all those things are included into Verizon. T-Mobile, on the other hand, is an aggressive pricing option. They they like undercutting their competition. They like to set the trend for pricing and to a consumer that is very friendly and they do an excellent job of that. So if you switch from Verizon to T-Mobile, you are probably going at it from the standpoint that I'm going to save some dough. Okay, so that's understood. Also, when you switch from Verizon to T-Mobile, you are switching from uh, one of the more, well, I guess I should say the most populated carrier. So in terms of network, it probably is experiencing the highest volume of users on any given cell phone tower. You probably have a lot of users that are on the Verizon network. So there are, there are some moments of congestion. There's some moments of slowdown on that network. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Uh, I felt it in my downloads. I know it exists. And I'm not even talking about going over the allotted 22 gigabytes and then they throttle you or whatever. All the networks work like that. That's not what I'm talking about. But they just have a lot of users on their network, and that takes its toll and bandwidth. So uh, that is a legitimate thing that you deal with as a Verizon customer. Now, Verizon's network is strong. It is well-supported. It's been invested highly, uh, and the tech there is supposed to handle a high bandwidth uh, and also handle a lot of users. But um, the truth of the matter is they just have a ton of people on their network. So T-Mobile has much less, and I believe that's to the advantage of the users that enjoy high speeds. So on average, you know, when I've tested the T-Mobile network and compared it to the LTE speeds of Verizon, I'd say that T-Mobile is about 5 to 10 mega, megabits uh, per second faster on average. So, I mean, sometimes even faster than that. Uh, so you're probably getting a slightly faster network. Um, Something you're also getting with uh, T-Mobile when you switch from Verizon to T-Mobile is you're getting upfront pricing. So not just, uh, and I forgot to mention that before, not just uh, cheaper pricing, but visually you understand your bill better. A little bit more upfront with the pricing. Uh, so between saving the money, seeing the upfront pricing, uh, getting a bit of a faster network, uh, you know, T-Mobile has come a long way with their data speeds and, and their network, and it's much more available, and they have a lot of excellent coverage now and and yeah it definitely has its pros and it has its uh, positives and those are the types of things like if you're a high data user and you don't necessarily use your cell phone to make many calls so mostly uh, applications and and data usage then you would thrive on the T-Mobile network it's the type of network that's for you because T-Mobile always highlights its data network uh, it's not so much about its calling Verizon has an excellent calling network it's been around for many years, you know, dating back to the 80s, possibly longer. You know, T-Mobile, as a, as a communications company here in the States, uh, they're very young. So, uh, you know, all things considered, I would say if you're one of those people that is 90% or more a data user, you know, T-Mobile could definitely be right for you. So I always push people, if you are a high data user, if you like a good value, a bargain, and... Um, then I think T-Mobile could be for you. You've got to try it in your area. I live in the Cleveland area. 
and I can tell you that data speeds here are excellent for T-Mobile and coverage is for the most part very good here. There are you know certain spots that are poor but a lot of the same areas are poor for Verizon and AT&T and Sprint as well. So uh, it's worth a shot you never know till you try it. But yeah those are some of the things I wanted to highlight. Now if you are going the other way so we're talking about going from T-Mobile to Verizon you're giving up those things that you were gaining. Okay, so if you switch from T-Mobile to Verizon, you lose the value. You're probably going to be paying more, whether it's single line or multi-line, like in a family plan. Uh, the same thing, the speeds that you enjoyed on T-Mobile are usually due to the fact, not only because uh, the network has been fortified with a lot of bandwidth and spectrum and those things, but more so that they have less users on their network, and because of that, there's less congestion. Speeds are better. You know, you've got less users, there's more bandwidth per customer to go around. Uh, so the same things you were enjoying on T-Mobile, you may be losing with Verizon. Uh, however, there are some perks to having a network like Verizon. Number one, the consistency of the network is there. Yeah, you may not get that top end, you know, that, that really fast LTE speed uh, that you're seeing with T-Mobile. But you're going to get good speeds. And they're very consistent and they're fine. You're not going to have issues. You're never going to say... Oh, my network is unbearably slow and I can't do what I need to do. It doesn't really come down to that point. There are moments where the network is bogged down in certain places. You know, a tower may be overloaded with users, but for the most part, it's uh, few and far moments in between. Uh, another thing that you're getting from Verizon is, like I said with T-Mobile, you don't have that strength in network. Verizon has an excellent calling network. You know, you're going to make your calls. The calls are going to go through. When you need it to happen, it will. And you can count on it. Uh, so with respect to calling, Verizon is second to none. Uh, so those are the kind of things that you want to consider if you're going to switch from Verizon to T-Mobile or if you're going to switch from T-Mobile to Verizon. You've got to kind of weigh those. Is it value you're looking for? Is it the speed in the network that you're looking for? You know, Are you willing to pay the premium for the Verizon coverage uh, and the consistency? Or are you looking for a more progressive and aggressive pricing option. Uh, either way, I, I think you get you know you get what you what you want. You uh, 